I'm Hannah from Enemy, and today I'm here with Elle Devine. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Really good. Back at Reading and Leeds. I know. Back to live music, back to festivals. Oh, oh, it's crazy. Can Buzzing. you believe? Did you do the classic teenage trip to, I guess it'd be Leeds for you? I actually, you know what? I actually didn't my first, I don't know if I'm allowed, I don't know if it's like sacrilege to mention another <laughs> uh, festival on this, but my first festival was Teen in the Park. So it was still okay. northern, more northern than Leeds. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, but this that was actually my first experience of Leeds on on Friday. So oh, was how was it? It was amazing. I loved it. It was um, I'm like I'm excited to see the comparison between like the northern and the southern crowd. Obviously, I was rooting for the north, but I'm I'm, I'm hoping Le- yeah. um, Redden will bring it today. <laughs> amazing. And these are some of your first shows back. How yeah. <laughs> how has it been? It's been good. So that was my that was my first one on fri- like my second one on Friday. Sorry. And then I did another festival a few weeks ago. And it's been it's it's mad. Like after not playing for like two years, like I completely forgot what it felt like to to just have like sweaty bodies in a room, like riving together and like yeah. smiling faces. It's, it's amazing. I've loved it, man. It's, it's so good. Can't beat it. Amazing. And last time we spoke was literally like right at the beginning of the pandemic. You just mm-hmm. started your URL tour. Yeah. And like so much, but also so little has happened yeah. since then. <laughs> Um, but the big thing is you released your EP, Near Life Experience, part yeah. one. How was it right now in the pandemic? Yeah, I mean, it was like definitely interesting because, you know, usually as a songwriter, you're like, you're looking outwardly to be inspired like by experiences. So, you know, you like write about going to parties, like meeting new people or like just stuff that happens like in, in normal life. So obviously didn't have any of that, which is kind of why it's called Near Life Experience as well. Um, so it was all like writing more about stuff that was just in my head, just literally about sitting in my bedroom. So everything got a bit more like introspective and like, yeah, way more just like in my thoughts. So it was, it was kind of weird doing that. Um, and then also, yeah, like finishing songs over Zoom. Interesting, but never want to do it again. <laughs> Definitely, I miss studios. Oh, and how did you pick the songs for it? Because some of them are new and then Naked Alone's obviously like an older one. How did you go about picking the tunes? Um, I mean, there's quite a few of them that are songs that I'd been sitting on for a while. I think I just wanted to like, like get everything out I would love to do like an album one day like suit one day so I just kind of wanted it like you know put all the put all put all the tunes that I had like sitting that I love but didn't know where their place was like onto a, onto, a, onto these EPs and there's like a few fan favorites that they've been like harassing me to put out for <laughs> ages so I got to stick them on there so yeah just like a collection of tunes that I've that I love oh, amazing and this is part one yes what can you tell me about part two part two um Hopefully part two is coming just in time for tour or around the tour. Um, and yeah, it's full, full of the br- brim of bangers again. I kind of, well actually, I kind of feel like part one is like the party, like the horny party. And then part two is like the day after the hangover when you've got a bit of the fear. That's like, that's what they remind me of. Oh, <laughs> I just love that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. What sort of themes were you trying to get across on these projects? Um, well, I mean, it covers kind of like a whole range of themes because I guess it's just kind of near life experience it's just about navigating all the, all the corners mm. of life I guess so um, I guess like girls like sex kind of touched on um, sexuality and like female sexuality and, and um, kind of flipping that narrative on its head that men like sex and women like feelings and I just wanted to make a song that was the total opposite of that and then you then there's stuff like um, on the second half I've got one called Heart to Heart which is literally just about like you know those those chats you have when you're fucked up at a party in a bathroom with a friend and you just like tell them everything every dark part of your life that they never knew about you so the stuff like that is like different parts of relationships you know it's not just all like romantic stuff it's about you know i don't know just like a lot of a lot of different things yeah. Yeah. amazing and why did you decide to sort of do this project in two parts as may, as opposed to like maybe putting it all on an album on an album i think because i I, I'm not I wasn't ready to I'm not ready to do an album yet I think and I and it, this didn't I love all these songs but it didn't it didn't feel like an album in a way that it's kind of it's a bit disjointed but I, I kind of like that because that's kind of how I, I was feeling like writing all of these songs and um, I still think that I was at a point where I was kind of like finding out what I, what I liked and what kind of music I, I like to make and I kind of got to explore like all corners of pop in this and um, which was really fun and yeah it kind of just felt like a bit of a, a bit of an assortment which I which I like which is what it was meant to be I guess that's why it's not an album yeah. <laughs> what kind of music did you find that you're gravitated towards most you kind of have a sound in mind for future releases or I mean I don't know yeah I've definitely I've kind of like tapped into something but I don't know I don't really know how to describe it yet I guess um 
when I put it out, that'll be you know everyone else's job to come up with words to describe it. But it's it yeah, it feels like feels like Eldervine. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and I want to talk about the visuals for Girls Like Sex. Absolutely iconic. Oh, Love sick. all the Thank clips. You. How much fun was it creating those? Yeah, it was really good. It was. Um, I'm I'm surprised I didn't get into trouble for some of it. Like the the the, the pillow fight one. That was like in an actual hotel, and we like brought pillows in. We didn't like rip up their pillows, and um, yeah, we cut up open all the, this stuff, and all the the feathers came out everywhere. And I had to sleep in that room that night as well. Like I was actually staying in that hotel room, and I like inhaled. Like I woke up like feeling like a bit fucked because like, I'd been inhaling all these little oh feathers like all night. And I, yeah, I went downstairs and I was like, "Can I borrow a Hoover? Like I really don't want anyone else having to clean this up. Like I want to do it." And the, I don't think they understood. And I was like no seriously like you need to give me the hoover <laughs> and they were like no no it's fine we'll take care of all of that they must have got the fucking shock of their life when they went up because oh. it was just like it was just it was honestly it looked like christmas it was just like oh. feathers everywhere <laughs> but yeah, it was good amazing and i was enjoying your clips of uh trying to think of clean versions <laughs> of a song yeah. which was it was great i mean the song just had such amazing reaction across the board what's it been like yeah it was crazy it was really fun there was like a lot of yeah, a lot of funny stuff. I could take the piss out of the song with. I mean, girls like Greg's. I still think that needs to be that needs to be a thing. Need to do a collab with Greg's and get get that Greg's VIP card. Off the back of it. Um, yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah, the response was amazing. Like, I, I, I on it. And to be honest, in, in a way, it was like absolutely amazing. And in in some ways, a bit surprising because I, I, people like at the label and stuff told me, you know, we might have some trouble like getting this um, on the radio and stuff, and we might need a clean edit. And I was like, I'm not. I'm not replacing sex. Like I, I know that was a joke. All, all the stuff I did, all the um, replacements I did. But I was always against that. And yeah, when it went on the radio, it was like all of these like school-run dads that were like super pissed off that their kids had to listen to the word sex at nine o'clock in the morning. But fuck oh. them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you've got um, later this year. You've got your tour. What yeah. can we expect for it? Um, all the new songs off the EP, like a lot of tunes I've never ever played before, so that'll be that'll be really good. And um, hopefully, gonna add on like um, a few more musicians or something, or and get Gabby, my drummer, a big big drum kit, get some like more live stuff. So yeah, just make it a bit bigger and yeah, and play all the new songs. I'm buzzing. Amazing. Well, can't wait for that. Can't yeah. wait for your show today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.